I've always been the sort of person that if I see there's a need and if I can do something about it, then I should. It's my responsibility and my duty and if I don't know what I can do about it, then I'll get someone else who does. Where there are gaps, you, they need to be filled and if you are standing in front of that gap, then fill it so that others that come behind you don't face the same difficulty. I think as a younger Malay woman, you can't help but be very conscious about representation and very aware of the responsibility to speak up for others who may not have that same opportunity to speak up for themselves. A lot of the young women I work with come from difficult backgrounds. The furthest they can dream is within that rental unit. What means a lot to me is when you talk to them and you see that moment of recognition or spark in their eyes where they go, maybe if this kakak can do it, then I can do it too. My friend and I run a Ground Up initiative with girls in reformative training. So we work with young women going through workshops on things like financial literacy or relationships. And I think being able to have a better, stronger support structure personalised befrienders who are able to walk with them on their journey to let them know that even after release, we will still be there for you. I think that will make a big difference in their rehabilitation. I grew up in community service. I've been part of different organisations for half my life <laughs> now. Singaporeans are really willing to give. Sometimes they just don't know how or they don't believe that they can. It just takes everyone putting in a little bit and Together, you can make it happen. As a young Singaporean, you're very aware and grateful for all the generations who have come before you, who have literally built Singapore into what she is today. There's a lot of hardware. What will really take us into the next decade, the next 50 years, is the hardware. There are many issues that are close to the heart of my generation. I'm a volunteer diver and I worked with this ground up initiative called Our Singapore Reefs which cleans up plastics and other materials off the shores of Singapore. My generation thinks about sustainability in a very personal way. Through the Youth Action Challenge, there are many environmental projects and really good ones. It gives me faith that the next generation will actually commit and work at making this happen. In my day job as a lawyer, we work with elderly communities to talk to these elderly about things um, which may be considered very taboo in our Asian society, such as your advanced medical directives or lasting powers of attorney. I think this is particularly important in our ageing society by talking to them about this, giving them their options and of course bringing their children into the picture. They have more assurance and being able to take back that ownership. You've come so far you know, from Mudflat to Metropolis and the question is what, where is the next? Where, are we, where do we want to go? So I hope for a Singapore that's more neighbourly where we can reach out and care just across the corridor and also one where we are more empathetic and willing to listen to each other and really hear each other out. Let's do it together.